Hello there guys, welcome back to a brand new Spain game on my channel. We are going to be previewing Sweden versus Spain, probably the hardest game of this entire qualification phase. It's going to be a big one, it's going to be a massive game for Spain, knowing that a point would seal them in Euro 2020. Robert Moreno and Saul have just been talking about in their press conferences that we want to be going for three, and I would agree here, we need to bounce back, we need to get into Sweden here, who are also going to be up for it, knowing that, well, a win for them pretty much also, I'd say, puts them in the Euro. So, with Romania on their tails and maybe even Norway to come, it's all up for grabs tomorrow night and I'm really excited for this game. Let's continue. But before we get into this one, it is a really weird situation with the national team. I, I've been planning to record this video all day, but there's been so much stuff going on in Spain right now with Catalonia. Um, and it is a little bit embarrassing to do a Spain video today, I'm not going to lie. It's been an embarrassing day for Spain. As a Barcelona fan, you know, I'm, of course likely to side with Barcelona and po politics wise but um, I try and keep it neutral I try and also you know just stay out of it especially football wise but I mean today and in in past years it's just been a horrible example of, of fascism in Spain and you know it really is looking like a dictatorship the way they manage things it's not pleasant viewing it really isn't you know there's Catalan players in the national team there's Basque players in the national team you know our coach is Catalan and in football of course we try and stay away from all the politics but um, today it's really hard to do that of course and it's not an easy video for me to make really today um, I'm in a really weird situation with the national team right now but I think I'm just going to soldier on um, and we're going to support this team no matter what I feel because um, it's all I've been doing for about 10 years now so leading up to this Euros I can't really stop now um, and I just I just wouldn't be able to do it I'm, I'm afraid but um, yeah it's not a pleasant situation for Spain right now embarrassing themselves on a global stage politically um, and yeah all in all, forgetting about the politics, I think we just need to continue really preview this video and continue supporting the Spanish national team because it doesn't really have a lot to do with it. You know, as I mentioned, the coaches from Catalonia um, and there's players from all over the all over of Spain. You can play, you know, in, in any club in Spain. You can play for whoever you want in Spain or from ever from whatever part of Spain you can get in the national team. So um, I just wanted to clear that up there before we get into this video. So it's certainly a relevant topic um, and one that has been challenging and 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 you know making things difficult over over recent days for Spain, but we're going to continue here with this preview. So, putting that to one side, let's look at how the group table's looking. We are in a good spot right now. We're very, very close, as I mentioned at the end, in the um, Norway review. That was certainly the positive from that game. We are very close now. Even a draw would get us through, but I really don't want to leave this international break without a victory. Um, that's why I think a win tomorrow would be absolutely massive. But Sweden will be coming into this game on solid form. They've just beaten Malta 4-0 away from home. That'll be not only a good confidence boost, but it also would have been a game that, well, they wouldn't have had to put a lot of effort in. They would have strolled through that game. Um, they didn't have to break a sweat in that one, I can assure you that. So um, I think Anderson and his side will be very, very comfortable here. Um, and I also feel that they will feel that they are certainly favourites to also secure a spot in Euro 2020 alongside us. Anderson, the coach, doesn't also really have any fresh injury concerns, um, although he does have one... Um, plus that he's going to be Victor Lindelof. He could be coming back into the defence tomorrow night and that could massively strengthen Sweden in my opinion. So we just move on to how their lineup could look. I don't think much is going to change. I'm not going to lie. I think Sweden are going to come out there in their 4-4-2 shape. They're going to try and make things hard for us. It's not going to be an easy game. As we know it, it's Sweden as it is and it's away from home. They're going to want to win but we want to come here. We want to make a statement on what is a tricky time for the national team right now and we're going to go there aiming for the three points against what looks like, you know, it's a Sweden team full of quality. We know this is a good side but we are also certainly a better side and we're going to be coming there for the three points as we mentioned with Spain I think a lot of people are saying right let's get the point and just get out of here but I really want to try and go for the win tomorrow night and then if worst comes to worst we take the point and then we'll go through anyway but I think we have to go out there with the, with the desire to get all three points tomorrow um, team news wise there's going to be no Ramos he's out due to suspension but um uh, that's going to be a little bit problematic for us. I think he's someone that Moreno counts on massively. Um, and as a whole, in terms of team selection, I'm not entirely sure what Moreno's going to go for. It's always ridiculously and stupidly hard to predict his lineups and his shape, etc. What I've done eventually, though, for you guys, is I'll put us in a 4-3-3. I think we have to go back to that, really. Um, and I've also tried to put in the personnel that I think he'll use, but I've also added a few other players that I think... Um, have to be in and I'm not actually sure that he will use. So I'll go through it on my one. I've gone for Kepper and goal. I think if he starts Kepper tomorrow after his penalty, or you could call it error, um, it's 50-50 really, isn't it, on where you stand on that penalty decision. But I've gone for Kepper and goal and I think that if Moreno chooses him tomorrow night, that'll be a massive 
massive statement from him for the national team. Um, in right back on for Cadvahal, I went from last time. Well, then I went for Navas, so I think this time he's definitely going to go for Cadvahal. Left back, same goes. I went for Regilon, he went for Bednat. So this time I do think he's going to go for Regilon. Um, in the heart of the defence, of course, no Ramos. And he didn't even play on Ente last time, so I think the centre-back partnership is going to be Raul Albiol and Inigo Martinez of Athletic Bilbao and Villarreal, respectively. In midfield, I think, well... I think he could use some other players here, but I think Thiago's going to get an appearance. I do think that. I also can't see really him dropping Fabiano Busquets. Um, there's been talk of Rodri coming in, but I think he'll sit out again. And then if we move for further forward, I've tried to put our only three real attackers in the squad together. I think we have to do that. I've gone for Rodrigo, Gerard Moreno, and Oyar Tabal. But my worry with this lineup is, is while it looks it looks convincing, it looks like something Moreno could go for, I can really see someone again starting in this game, and I can't see any of those mid, mid, three midfielders not starting, so I think we could be seeing sort of similar to a 4-4-2 shape tomorrow, but I could be wrong, that could be the lineup. it's always hard to predict, but I've put those 11 players on the screen right there, I think that's a mix of not only what Moreno could go for, but also what could be quite good for tomorrow night's game, so it's an interesting one, and that doesn't look bad. Prediction-wise, guys, to end this video, I'm not entirely sure how this one is going to go. I think it could be quite a tight affair out there. I, you know, I think Sweden will be licking their lips after seeing the way we performed away from home to Norway. But what I will say is that Moreno will not be taking this, this slip up to Norway lightly. He wants to get back in there. He wants to prove himself. I loved his press conference, you know, just a couple of minutes ago. He was really auto-critiquing himself, which I thought was excellent. He was saying, I shouldn't have made this so many defensive subs. I should have gone out there with a better outlook. Um, I should have done so many things differently. And I love that from a coach. It's similar to what Lampard does at Chelsea actually. He really auto-critiques himself and he makes sure that he improves things on every game. Something that I honestly think is underrated in football managers. A lot of managers will just go, yeah we lost that game, this happened, that happened and then they'll go and do the same thing the next day in training. It's not going to happen with new coaches like these. They're going to want to improve, they're going to want to change, they're going to want to adapt and I think this is a great chance tomorrow night from what on a big stage to really prove himself and I'm hoping the boys are going to be up for it too. Saul looked a little bit fired up. I only got to catch a little bit of his press conference but he looks like he He's ready to right the wrongs too. He got us a, us a goal um, last uh, the other night, of course, to Norway's that was Saturday evening, of course, um, at the Ulivala Stadium, and he'll be up for it again. I think he's going to start, but I'm not really sure where the space for him is in that lineup. Um, and I think it's going to be a really interesting game. I do because again, like the Norway one, Sweden are also going to be putting up a good fight here at home, but Spain are going to be coming, you know, with a little bit of fire in their bellies after that defeat. And I just, I just think this is going to prove to be quite a good game. So prediction-wise, I'm going to go for the same prediction I went for the Norway-Spain game. I'm going to go for Sweden 1, Spain 2. I think Spain can do it this time. I do. Um, I'm hoping we go in there with the right attitude, right mindset. And of course, the players perform. And that Moreno's touched on a few things in the couple of days we've had between the Norway game and the Sweden game. We've been able to adapt a little bit. Um, and that should hopefully be helpful for us in this game. So yeah, guys, that's why I'm going to end this video. Please do drop a like if you did enjoy. I'm sorry I had to intervene at the beginning there with some politics it's not what i want to do in these videos it really isn't it's not a nice situation for me being a barcelona and a spain fan is always a really weird one because well especially in recent years you know catalonia and spain they don't like each other um and it's a really it's not a nice situation but i've been supporting the spanish national team since 2010 now um right at the start of that group stages against switzerland um and I, i'm not going to stop i don't think so we're going to be keeping at it of course um, and as for Barcelona, of course, you know, that's, of course, one of my biggest passions, too, in life. Um, but the two things don't really go together right well right now. So it's a really not pleasant situation in Spain, making themselves look really horrible and fascist. And um, I think it's just not going to end well, basically. Um, not a pleasant situation politics-wise. But as a Spain fan, I don't really know what else I can do other than just keep going. We'll keep supporting. We'll make a review on Wednesday night. And that's all that's going to happen. We're going to keep supporting these boys. You know, they don't have anything to do with the politics. As I mentioned, you know, our coach is from... Catalonia, as is most of his, as is most of his, as is most of his um coaching team, and you know we've got players from Madrid, we've got players from Celta Vigo, you know we've got players from all sorts, Basque players, all of those nations or not nations, all of those parts of Spain that usually hate each other politically are coming together for the national team. So I don't really know what else we can do other than support. Um, and yeah, that's all I got to say for this one. Drop a like if you have enjoyed, and I'll see you on Wednesday night for the review. Goodbye.